Wow, isn't that neat? Look at that. That is a big bird. Fishing for anything that bites, but this uh, area, the Tangle Lakes area, is known for Arctic grayling. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, I caught a fish. All right, I got your stick. That feels very much like a stick. <laughs> Talk about exciting, though. Boy, this is an amazing country out here. Holy cow. Even if I don't catch a fish, man, this was just gorgeous. So there hasn't been a whole lot going on with this video. Um, it's raining today and I haven't caught any fish over the whole trip. But uh, this is Lake Louise State Campground. Um, it's really close to the Army Point Campground. And the rain has let up a little bit. Um, it's still still raining, but not, not horrible. So I figured I'd give you a, a tour of the two campgrounds. It's kind of cool. I walked around them yesterday. This is where I think that uh, Nature is some of the most beautiful is when it's cold out, early spring, and it just rained. I mean, it just gives everything a certain, you know, coloration to it. The, uh, you know, it's, it's like jewels on the water. It's just, it's just gorgeous. You can pause the video if you want to read this. Um, I'll uh, get a good picture of everything for you. Uh, what's actually cool is that before this was, before Alaska was a state, uh, this whole campground, these two campgrounds here, uh, were put together by the Army engineers or whatever. And Eisenhower actually visited in 1953. Um, and we're going to go look at some cabins that are over, they're like 60 something years old. They were built in 1953 and they're still standing, which is just really interesting that stuff's still standing. Hey, look, moose poop. So, the, this, and this. Are the cabins from 1953. They don't really look that old, do they? Should we go in? I think there's a bear in there or a homeless person. I don't know. Sheesh, park rangers let this get a little overgrown, huh? Let's go in. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. It's still dry though. Look at that. The walls are still dry. Old school roof. Huh. Nice view. You know, imagine they probably cut down all these trees so you can see right into the lake. No stoves or anything though. I mean, these were just warm. These were just huts. Um, I don't see anything. I don't see any chimney holes or anything like that. So. Yeah, there's no no hole or anything for a chimney. Eisenhower walked through these steps before you became president. If I walk through them, do I become president? Okay, I better become president now. What kind of poo is this? Something lives here. Maybe right under there? Underneath this, maybe? And look, they've been scratching away at that tree. What do you think did it? I don't know. I don't know my Alaskan woodland critters. Hmm. Now, Fred Meyer is a store up here, but do you think that that is a... Uh, a spinoff of Frederick Meyer, Myers in Michigan. It's spelled the name different, but huh. there's just poo everywhere off from here all the way down. All the same animal. Some of it's fresh too. Wonder what it did. I don't see any skeletons though. Gotta give it to Alaska. They do some of the nicest outhouses I've ever seen. 
They really do a good job with those. I mean, look how fancy that is. That's like an actual house. Okay, now I don't know how well you can see that, but there's these prints. And they're more pointed than a moose print. Kind of just splayed out, you know, like that. And these are more like, uh, super more like horse prints. Go a few more up here, there's one. There, what kind of animal is that? Would that be a reindeer? Or sorry, a caribou? Reindeer are tame, caribou are wild. Or is it a really fat person with pointed boots? What could it be? This is a really boring setting uh, for you guys to watch videos from, but uh, good news. Okay, it's 924 on Sunday. I fly out at uh, Monday night, but technically Tuesday at 1235 on Tuesday. So I have from now, I have about 24 hours left in Alaska, about 27 hours. I'm going to drive to Palmer, Alaska. It's about three hours away. From Palmer, Alaska, me and uh, Ard Stats, the guide who got sick earlier this week, he's feeling better. Uh, we are going to meet, I'm gonna get there about one in the morning. We are going to immediately get on his boat. Uh, we'll get in his truck and get on his boat and head straight up to the Deska River. And we are gonna fish for king salmon. And that's really exciting. Uh, this is fast paced, you know, we're, we're getting going here and that'll be cool. So, looking, looking forward to it. Uh, I'll keep you updated as I go. As long as I don't run out of gas, I should be there. I'm gonna get this off the side of the road so no one hits it in the dark, but uh, hey, free to Walt uh, saw here if you need one. I'm not gonna steal it though. Like I said, I'm just gonna put it on the side of the road. From the north of Spain, a locket that bears the name of a man that Brandy loves. He came on a summer's day. These guys are ever these guys are everywhere trying to kill me. They're always on the side of the road with their little babies. Bleh. It's like the fifth moose I've seen so far in 40 miles. There's the Alaska I've been looking for. Wow, that's beautiful. That's a 22 to 26 inch brown trout out there. It's probably eight or nine years old. Okay. Could be more. That means he's seen a lot. And so if your fly lands and you just didn't like the looks of it because it landed like that, and you rip it up and out of him, he will never touch it. Another way to think about a bad cast is like that one. That's going to go all the way to the bottom, man. Just put a little mend on that and give it more time to sing. That one's gonna be all the way on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Know? And then right about now, you can make it, just start making an arc. It's dragging along the bottom and now it'll start an arc and it'll climb. And... Hey, that's okay.
guy's going. Is it really? Oh yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Ard. Stay put. Stay put. Let me look up here. Just look for that yeah. fuchsia pink. If it's laying right in here, <laughs> is is you started going forward before the line ex finished extending behind you. Yep. If you were a kid and just came home from a state fair and had one of those little toy bull whips, yep. that's what you had to learn to do in order to make it crack. <laughs> you get it going backwards and then you... <laughs>